welcome to my WWA Night of Champions results slash thoughts video. Alright, so to kick things off, we had the Tag Team Turmoil match, which was a number one contenders match for the Tag Team Champions. Um, obviously, I didn't watch it, so... But, that's that. So anyway, I um, heard that the primetime players defeated the other teams, which were the Usos, Tons of Funk, the Real Americans, and 3MB. So, so congratulations to them. Next, we had the uh, Intercontinental Championship match, because um, obviously, with it being Night of Champions, every single title has to be defended. Triple H made the announcement at the start of the pay-per-view, and um, that was awesome that he did. Also, he um, mentioned about the handicap match between Curtis Axel and Paul Heyman versus CM Punk, but I'll get to that later. So, Curtis Axel faced Kofi Kingston, uh, which he retained the title, and that was... Okay, the, the, the match was okay, but it, it could have been improved them a lot better. So, so well done to Kurt the Saxo for defending his title. Um, so, that's that. So, well done. Next, we had the Divas Championship match, which was a fatal four-way, which was AJ Lee versus Natalia versus Naomi um, and versus Bria Bella. Um... AJ Lee, as always, defended her Divas Championship. Which, honestly, I, I want her to lose that title. She is going to lose that title. And hopefully the torture get passed on. <coughs> so she will lose it. And that is that. Alright, then after that, we had the World Heavyweight Championship match. Alberto Dario versus... RVD with with Ricardo Renendez in RVD's corner. Um, obviously the match went back and forth and all that, but it ended in a disqualification. So Alberto Del Rio got himself disqualified because he got him in the cross arm, uh, cross arm bar or whatever they call it. It's a mission move, and um, RVD got a hold of the ropes, and um, obviously enough. Got over five count, ended in disqualification, but Alberto Del Rio is still the World Heavyweight Championship. I would have loved RVD to be World Heavyweight Championship. That would have been great. So that's uh, so well. So well done to Alberto Del Rio for retaining your title. Next, we had a singles match: The Maze versus Fun Dung. Go. And it's just what I like to do. Anyway, so the Maze versus Fandango. Um, I knew that there was going to be some controversy between them two because of Fandango interrupted the Maze countless times uh, at SummerSlam. But uh, a few weeks ago, well, I think it was a few weeks ago, a week ago, or something like that, that they had a dance off match and. Um, the Miz won, and um, the Miz and our truth like went together and all that. So we could be seeing awesome truth again, because that tag team was cool. Um, but other news, let's focus on our Night of Champions here. Um, the Miz defeated Fandango, which I'm very happy of. So I'm very happy that you defeated Fandango, Miz. Well done. That's that. Uh, Next, we had the U.S. title. Um, I forgot to mention these in my predictions video because they were because they were new. They just came up and all that, so I forgot about and mention them. Um, U.S. title was on the line, so Dean Ambrose versus Dolph Ziggler. Um, as always, I wanted the the Shield to lose each and every single one of their titles, but like as always, they retained them. But this time. Right? This time only, Dean Ambrose defended his title without the other two members of the Shield coming down 
to help them. So, well done, Dean Ambrose. Well done. So, well done to you for retaining the title yourself without the other two members of the Shield. And next up, we had the WWE Tag Team Champions. Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns versus the primetime players. This match was great. Honestly, I love, I loved that match. But in other words, WWE just keeps, it keeps making things predictable. Everything is predictable. So the Shield retained their titles. But the Shield are, how should we say, cocky. And they're too overrated them as well. But still, they're still the tag team championships. Tag team champions. I want them to lose their titles. And... Oh god, I forgot about the next match. Which was um, Paul Heyman and the Intercontinental Championship. Curtis Axel versus CM Punk. Obviously, you know, in my predictions video... I want to see on Punk to lose. My dreams came. My prediction was right. He did lose, but he didn't lose to Curtis Axel. He lost to Paul Heyman. Now, honestly, in my predictions video, I thought that Brock Lesnar was going to come out and do something to him, but no. Ryback came out and put a Punk through a table because there was a no disqualification handicap elimination match, which Triple H made the best decision yet. It's good for business. And then uh, Paul Heyman pinned CM Punk and victory was theirs. So well done to Paul Heyman and Curtis Axel for defeating CM Punk in a handicap elimination match. What am I saying Curtis Axel for? Curtis Axel was eliminated first. But so Paul Heyman still got the win. And last but not least... And last match was the WWE Championship match. Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan. Obviously enough, this match was the best match of the pay-per-view yet. It was the best one ever. Because, um, like as always, fighters trade back and forth. But including Daniel Bryan is a good technical wrestler he's a very brilliant technical wrestler um yes he did get he did kick him in the back of the head well he did the kick to um randy orton he pinned him one two three and he won so now we have a new wwe champion so daniel bryan well done to you for getting that title only one title in this pay-per-view has changed hands. All the others haven't. Because they've been retained. But the main one was crowned a new champion. So, well done to Daniel Bryan for getting the WWE Championship. Hope he becomes the new face of WWE. Um, I like Daniel Bryan. So, that's that. But, anyway... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video around. So this has been my WWE Night of Champions results slash thoughts of 2013. So I hope you enjoyed it, and peace! Peace!